Greetings everyone and welcome to another First Impressions video game playthrough. Um, first Impressions being me playing stuff that I've never played before and giving you my first impressions. So you are literally seeing me pick up the controller and play whatever it is I'm playing that time uh, for the very first time. So expect suckage. Expect lots of suckage because at this point, most of the time I don't even know what kind of game it is, let alone what the controls are. So... <laughs> Alrighty, so today uh, we're continuing on with our sort of sci-fi theme. Uh, we're going to check out Mars Warlogs. Yeah, so this is the demo version. I don't even know what kind of game this is. If it's, uh, if it's a shooter, if it's an RPG, um, no idea. I know just judging from the picture there, it looks like it might be kind of story-based. So let's check it out. Uh, I'm just going to switch over to my other screen here. So, here we go. Alright, so no idea how long this demo is. No idea even what kind of game it is. We're just going to uh, jump in with both feet and see where it takes us. Alright, here we go. I've never played this before. I downloaded it on the date you just saw. And it's been sitting on my PS3 ever since. So... Ah, spiders! <clears throat> Ooh, pretty. We're going to go to Mars! I had to. Alright, let's do it here. Here we go. Brightness settings. Barely visible, visible, clearly visible. There. Put it up a little bit because I notice uh, XSplit seems to record things a little bit dark, so I'll, I'll crank the brightness up a little bit uh, just for you fine folks watching at home. Ooh, I like the music. Nice. Yeah, I, I like this style of music. Very like uh, you know, sort of old school, low budget sci-fi. All right, uh, let's check out options here, see what we got. Uh, controls. Movement and, uh-oh, stealth mode. Oh dear, there's gonna be stealth stuff, which longtime viewers will know I suck at. Uh, we're gonna invert the Y-axis, camera sensitivity. Well, I guess we'll find out if that's a good setting. Okay, well. Save what? Save and quit? Yes. Quitting to the menu, right? Not quitting the game. Alright, good. Uh, game. Tutorials enabled, subtitles, yes. I, will, I, I personally don't generally play with subtitles because for me it interferes slightly with the immersion. But I know a lot of my viewers are uh, hard of hearing and appreciate the subtitles, so I put them on for you guys. Yep, that's fine. I didn't actually change anything, but that's fine. We can change that. Alright, uh, audio. Audio is cranked. Okay, good. Well, I think that's uh, pretty much it. So let's go back and uh, get into the game. Extreme! Right off the bat. No, we'll just do medium. We'll just do medium. We just want to taste. Check it out. This icon indicates the details. Don't forget you can... Buy... Okay, I won't forget. Thanks for telling me. I found me myself and... up to my neck in the war before I knew it. Before I saw it coming. and a bunch of identical octuplets. <laughs> I was never much for politics. The rivalries between the war guilds was something that didn't concern me. I was a teenager, and I had my own set of problems. Moody teenager, check. Thinking back, I was a pretty carefree kid living a good life. My friends and I got together to talk and do nothing most every night. And then one morning, the soldiers came to take me away. 
Me and a lot of other guys from the neighborhood to defend the guild. <coughs> hmm. Bright eyed and bushy tailed. I think I was actually proud at first. They gave me a uniform and a gun. And then I understood. Up close, war doesn't make you a hero, it makes you tired. It's nothing more than bloody marches. Blistering days, men stacked up against each other in sweaty trenches, stinking, covered in lice. So exhausted we can't sleep, shaking from the thought of what the next night will bring. The night, infernal marches, tramping through blood and shit. I don't know, this looks like a bunch of rocks to me. Cattle by overzealous <laughs> officers, sending wave after wave of idiots like me off to get butchered, screaming at us like it was all our fault. Stupid kids who shit themselves at the first sight of a blade and cried like babies when ordered back to the front. But seriously, I am liking the drama here. Very, uh, very accurate depiction of what war is like. Uh, getting kind of a Vietnam in space vibe here. It could have gone on like that until I ended up face down in the dirt. But I was one of the lucky ones, captured and stuck in a wagon full of guys I barely knew. They <coughs> rounded us up and tossed us in a cattle car, packed in like mutants, and sent us far away behind enemy lines. I don't know if it's night or day. I completely lost track of time. Nothing really mattered to me anymore. You are now in Camp 19. If you watch your step, we will get along just fine. Mm. Prisoners to Camp 19. <coughs> get off the train and stand in line. They shoved us out, lined us up, and welcomed us to our new home. You're about to meet the sand pit. I want every one of you clean within the hour. His lips weren't moving. You will then be taken to the registration office. You will inform them of what you know how to do, and you will be assigned a post and a book. Oh, that's because he was talking. Now, Never mind. Get going. <laughs> Fall out. A new day. At least we got a chance to clean ourselves up, even if all we had was sand. Hint, be sure to sell or recycle the weapons and armors that you no longer use. If you decide to recycle the components where we, you retrieve may allow you to craft new upgrades. Ooh, weapon crafting. I know someone who'd be into that aspect of the game. And I missed the second one. Sorry. That someone would be skin slip. He's all about weapon crafting and stuff like that. Get a load of this, fellas. Fresh meat. Uh, this just makes my day. I was getting tired of drilling the same old asses. Huh. Oh, great. Hey, you're not bad looking either. Get out. <gasps> yeah, you got a real pretty mouth. Your tongue. What are you, special? Is that it? Huh? You a nutcase. Maybe you get off watching. Go take a seat. After all, this is the only entertainment you're getting, yeah. <laughs> Isn't that right, guys? Hmm. Uh -oh. Don't stop yakking, will ya? Spit it out, you got something to say. What's that? Speak up. 
Nobody can understand your squeaking, boy. <laughs> we want to find you, we will. This place ain't big enough to hide from us. You crazy. You need to be put down. <laughs> what are you nervous. insane? You looking for pain? You mental? Fucked in the head? Nah, nah, I don't need this. You're already dead. Sick fuck. Just think about what you're gonna do to this poor bitch. Brings a tear to my eye. I, I just can't watch. I'm sensitive. <laughs> Forget it, guys. This cunt's not normal. I don't want to catch what he's got. Sometimes the best thing you can say is nothing. <clears throat> hey, uh, thanks. Thanks for the help. <laughs> His name is Innocence. Ah, dialogue choices. I couldn't just stand there and do nothing. I wasn't doing you any favor. What if all I wanted was to keep you for myself? Don't think I was just helping you out. That's a lesson. Don't expect others to fight for you if you're not going to do it for yourself. That's not what you I just expected. His voice That's all. Like Me and Fatso have been overdue for a little face to face for quite some time. I get it. Uh, luck, coincidence, whatever. But thanks all the same. Mm -hmm. If you want to stay a happy little virgin. Yeah, right. Just drop the nice guy act. We gotta get out of here. I'm good. I'll follow you. I really expected that guy to have a gruffer sounding voice. So, hey, hey, I, I'm, I'm the strong, silent, tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's not actually what he sounds like. Alright, let's take a little look around. Okay, we got some uh, third person action going on here. All right, we should probably explore. Oh, search the glowing pile of junk. Scavenging. Containers and piles of waste can be searched in order to find different sorts of materials. These can be used to craft items such as ammunition or upgrades for your arms and armors, or just traded for other resources. Cool. Um, thank you. All right, so mental note. Look for glowing things. We'll just take a little boo around. There's some glowing stuff over there. Alright, well, controls are nicely uh, responsive. That's good. Uh, can we... His name is Innocent. Yes? Come on, let's go. Alrighty then. Apparently I'm the only one who has a normal name. Alright. Hardware. Excellent. I have hardware and scrap metal. Oh shit, this stuff is finished. I'll never be able to fix it here. And they'll never change it. Ah, oh, fuck me. No, no. Hey, hey, I'm working. I'm not here to shoot the shit. <clears throat> you just seem to be spinning your wheels is all. Shit, this camp's a ruin. I don't have what I need to repair the thermal conductors or the sand pump. And I need something to tighten these bolts. And of course, my wrench is broken. I'm keeping busy though. I can always unblock the sand extractor. I'm not too busy just now. Can I give you a hand? Looking for something in exchange, I guess? Hmm. <laughs> if you can dig up some parts and a wrench, I'll be grateful. But I already took everything in the stock, and I got no idea where to look now. Uh huh? What exactly do you need? I need two resistors, three bits of sheet metal, and a number nine wrench. I'll get that for you. If you can do that, man. Pretty much a wasteland equipment-wise around <clears throat> here. <laughs> Why help the mechanic? I mean, even if he seems all right, he's still an enemy. Yeah, true. But I think it could be useful for us to get on his good side. He could give us equipment or serum. Shouldn't, shouldn't you be talking about that in the 
you know, when you're not within earshot of him. And apparently we can't do that side quest, so, okay, cool. I guess our primary objective is to beat the living tar out of Fatso. Alright. Well. Okay. <laughs> so Did you have fun? I hope she's still wet, because I'm gonna ride her hard. Been waiting for you. Me and the guys decided that we didn't appreciate your attitude. You may be crazy, but even if you're too fucked up to know when to open your mouth, <laughs> we've decided we'll show you how to close it. Right, time to teach you some manners, darling. Live and learn. Alright, I'm just gonna fight here. Oh, I've got a big thing. to fight. Hold on. Yeah! Take that, fatso! I took so much damage there, that's ridiculous. <laughs> hey there! Stop that right now, you worms! You're looking to get roasted or what? Take these wrecks to the infirmary! They nearly got killed! <clears throat> <laughs> Take that, fatso! It's the same thing every time we get new arrivals. Always gets them excited. Some days I wish I was at the front. Well, thanks for telling you, us your life story. You, you could have killed them. What do you think those bastards would have done to us if it had been our faces buried in the sand? You gotta do what it takes. By the way, the name is Roy. And yours? My name's Innocence. Roy? Aren't you from Aurora? Afraid so. They called me Temperance back then, but... I chose Roy. Those virtue names aren't really my thing. Ah. Oh, okay. I guess Temperance doesn't fit. Yeah, let's go to the mess hall. We need to find a place where we can talk. Okay, I'm right behind you. Oh. I'm glowing. Ah, experience gain. Congratulations, you just went up your first level. Press the D-pad left to check your skill trees in the in-game menu and unlock new abilities. All right, let's uh, let's check it out. What do we got here? Uh, okay, so we got... Uh, I'm guessing these are paths that you can take. So you can be a renegade or combat or technomancy so it's kind of like uh, I don't know, I'm thinking kind of like thief fighter mage sort of thing yeah so we definitely have an RPG here uh, pretty cool I do enjoy me a good RPG um, 
liking it so far. Uh, still, still a little early, but uh, I do like the uh, the story so far. Uh, Roy, <laughs> the the voice of Roy still isn't quite sitting right with me. He just sounds too nice guy, you know. <laughs> I really, really expected more of a gruff voice just from the the stare down introduction we got. But okay, whatever. Anyway, what do we got here? Uh, so if we check here. What can we do? So first aid. Well, as you keep moving while using an injection pack, uh, plus 25 maximum life, health injections, there's five more. Seven. Okay, cool. Deadly shadow. Attacks from behind deal plus 50 more damage. Stealth is increased by 50% while standing still in stealth mode. Stealth is increased by... Oh, these are like the ranks, I see. So as you boost it up, it uh, makes a big difference, apparently. So art of blinding. Foes are less likely to dodge a sand throw. Throw sand over a larger area. Enemies remain blinded for a 50% longer period. Cool. So we we'll go back and then we check this one. Science of evasion. Negative 25% damage received while evading. Negative 50% faster recovery after an evasion. Tough skin, basically damage reduction. And then we got science of parry. Allows to parry attacks coming from any side. Wow. I, I can already tell that combat is something that would drive me bonkers in this game. Um, I don't know. But, uh, okay. Well, I don't, I don't freaking know. Do we even want to bother upgrading at this point? Maybe we'll... Uh, maybe, we'll maybe we'll do this one. Why did I do that one? That, that one's useless. Why did I do that? I don't know. Anyway, attacks from behind. Art of blinding. Uh, let's go back. Oh, no. You don't actually have to follow just a single uh, tree. Uh, yeah, let's do, let's do tough skin. There we go. All right. Cool. Oh, hold on. Can I, uh, can I take that one back? Nope. You're committed. Let's see. Warlog. First steps in prison. So you gotta go to the mess. Map. Oh, hey. Check this out. Mechanic. Bob. J. And the you are here, I'm guessing. Oh, no. Okay. Cool. Uh, inventory. Oh, hey. Improvised weapon. Awesome. Reputation neutral. Definitely hurting. Uh, yeah. Physical damage plus nine. Armor's torn prison uniform. Yeah, great. Okay. Can we, uh, can we do stuff? Upgrade. Uh, can we upgrade? Shoulders. Required components. Cloth. One of four. Uh, I see. Okay. So that's what we can do. Oh, forearms. Anything? I have nothing. All right. Cool. All right. I get it. Nifty. Yeah. Kind of like his hair. I, I like how it's shaved over the ears there. Just, uh, you know, not touching the ears makes less of a distraction. You know, very... So it's kind of got some uh, military practicality while still... Y yes, thank you. I just looked at that. Let's see. Quick map. Oh, that, that's actually kind of handy. Yeah, I like that. Oh, I see some scrap stuff over there. What on earth is that? Kind of looks like a lobster dog. Hey, Roy. Just wanted to tell you, everyone's talking about how you took out the fat guy. He was embarrassing the entire Aurora army. Here, take this. A little thank you. Oh, huh. thanks. Oh, thank you very kindly. A cracked tube. Awesome. Now I can make a crack pipe. <laughs> um, yeah, I wanted to go over here and uh, check out the junk. Scrap metal. Yay. All right. So what we got here? Can we... Hey, what the fuck are you doing? I'm thinking, damn it. You mean you're sleeping? 
This ain't bridge with your grandma, remember? Get it together. Huh? All right. I call. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right. Ah, you call, all right. Your mama. Full houses, but aces in your face. Shit. Shit, you're lucky today, man. I don't believe it. <laughs> Show me the cash, man. One more. Ah, shit. I don't know. <laughs> man, you're really bleeding me dry. Alright. Um, it's over here, anything? Really? Oh, what do we got here? A crate! Ooh, cloth! Hey! Hey, hey, hey! N no? What? Put that away. Hold on. There we go. Uh, I think we can do some upgrades now. Yay! Shoulders. Hardware to leather to. All right, so let's uh, hold on. If we do this, so be physical damage reduction plus three. If we do this one, it's plus two. Let's do the plus three. Yes, excellent, sweet upgrades for the win. Trophy unlocked. Recycling. Trophies are only available in the full game. Well, fuck. Eh, we'll just take a little look around. There is... Not. Go to Cistern. No, not yet. We want to walk around here. Can we talk to this guy and his... Lobster dog? Like... <laughs> Speak to a button's hey, shoulder. If you're heading to the mess, make sure you watch your step. Don't even think about doing the same thing you did with Fatso. Nice of you to worry about me and all, but I think he learned his lesson. Cut the bullshit. I heard you were going to kill him. <laughs> he was looking for some action. He got what he was looking for. <laughs> Get out of here and go blow it somewhere else. You hear? Go do some gardening. Do some hoeing. It'll do you good. He said blow it somewhere else. I think he meant blow it off somewhere else. Oh. Crater, mess, cistern, sand pit. Alright, so we're gonna head over here. Uh, what do we got here? Oh. Is this... Isn't this where we just were? No, it isn't actually. Oh. He's on guard in the next block. Guess he wants to talk to me about the fat guy. Thanks for the info. I, I think I just talked. No Later. I, I think I just talked to him. One thing that kind of bugs me about RPGs is you get sucked into these big long conversations and sometimes they just seem to be babbling. You know what I mean? Like it's it it's not that I don't enjoy the conversation tracks, far from it. I, I, I enjoy it. it adds to the story, it adds to the characters and, and whatnot. But I just find that sometimes the, the, the dialogue feels kind of like filler. Like they're just kind of doing it to drag it out a little bit longer. And it's like, yeah, you don't really need the conversation to be quite so long sometimes. You know what I mean. If you've played RPGs, you know what I'm talking about. Like some conversations just are, go on longer than they really seem to need to. Alright. I'm just kind of looking around, exploring, checking stuff out. <laughs> that could be uh, sound effects for something else, couldn't it? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe not. And we came full circle. Alright, cool. Uh, I think we gotta go this way. Open, says me. There we go. Alright, I think the mess is this way. 
Oh, more scrap metal. Literally more scrap metal. Mess recruitment office. Okay. Oh, there's another one of those dudes. Hi. Fine. Don't say anything. Hi. Oh, never mind. Let's find somewhere quiet. Maybe the only empty table in the entire establishment? I'm just going to uh, explore around a bit first. Cloth, five. Oh, sweet. Let's, uh, hold on. Oh, what we got here? Let's you cre oh crafting kit lets you create injections and ammunitions. Also gives you access to, uh, gives access to ingredient transformation with feats recycler and transformer. Cool weapons improvised weapon cracked tube plus nine. Oh, get a boost of ten. Eh. Well, let's see. What can we do here? Can we uh, upgrade here? Cloth one, scrap metal. Wow, I, I can actually make quite a weapon with this. Hmm, physical damage plus 11. Physical damage reduction. Hand guard. Oh, I see. Oh, that's actually kind of handy. Alright, well, let's go back here. I think I just want to boost up my, uh... What do we got here? Nope. Physical damage reduction. Let's, uh... Let's do the leather. There we go. Physical damage reduction plus 15%. Sweet! Hey, I've apparently healed. I noticed my health is 100% now. Hooray! Uh, do do do. Search workshop. Oh, I bet there'll be a wrench in there. Let's, um, let's go have our little chit chat at the table here, though, first. Oh, hold on. Another crate. Oh, look at that. More cloth and health injection pack. Sweet. That's good. Alright. Yeah, let's sit here. Here we are. It's not five star, but it's safe. No one fights in the mess. Now we can talk in private. What did you want to talk to me about? Keep your voice down. <clears throat> this is a sensitive matter. I'm planning on breaking out of here. It'll be tough doing it on my own. Probably impossible, but with what happened, I thought you might want to get out. Mm. I... Th this sounds like a dream. Do you have a plan? Mm. <laughs> yeah, it's not going to be easy. You thought asking nicely would do it. Of course, I have a plan. What do I look stupid? I've been working on this for a while. But I'm going to need you, and it's going to take some balls. Sure you're up for this? Of course. I don't like being locked up any more than the next guy. If my first day is any indication of what's to come, you know? Good, mm. then listen up. This place is here for a reason. Crumbling wall, guards who don't give a shit, and surrounded by desert. But if you're outside when the sun rises, you'll bake in your boots right before your eyes melt. Mm. I get it. Then how are we doing this? There's only one way. We have to steal the train that brings the prisoners here. But that's a... I mean, you're tough and all, but how can you pull something like that off? I want you to volunteer to work for the electric station in camp. You'll use the job to check out how they protect the train, everything about it. And once you get the info, with a little luck on my end, I'll have picked up some weapons. All that we'll have left to do is break in, knock out the electric barriers, and we're out of here. But we already have weapons, don't we? These toys aren't going to do much against armed guards. They mm -hmm. got armor. We need guns, at least. 
And I've got a good idea how we're gonna get them. Shit, guys! It's hitting the fan down there! Those Abundance Bastards sent some of our boys back in pieces again! Holy shit! Are they dead? If they're not, they're as good as! Bet those assholes are gonna come back with their sign-up speech again! More food if you go down and do some cleaning! Hmm. <laughs> yeah, except it's more food for those fucking bugs! Thanks, but I'll give it a miss. They can do their own cleaning. Perfect. This is exactly what I was hoping for. What? What are they talking about? The drilling well keeps getting overrun by moles. And because the grunts have better things to do than get rid of the vermin what themselves, to his voice? they send prisoners in with weapons to take them out. Did you suck back some helium? I'm gonna volunteer. <laughs> Seriously, his voice totally went up like in pitch there. I'm gonna volunteer! It's gonna be awesome! I'm such a badass! <laughs> okay, Mickey. I'm gonna go with you to recruitment, make yourself useful, go sign up for power plant duty. You're gonna make them believe you came out of your mama with tools in your hand and sparks in your eyes. <laughs> <clears throat> the idea is to bluff them. To get them to believe that you're an electrical genius. Don't worry, I'm gonna back you up. Alright. I'll ask to be assigned to the power plot. Just get them to believe that you've already done that kind of work. It'll fly. Come on, let's go. <laughs>